Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you three reasons why cars lose power over time. So as an engine has been running for more and more years, it loses power, it loses horsepower, it loses torque, it loses throttle response, and so forth. And I'm gonna tell you three of the main contributing reasons why this happens. Let's get right into it. Reason number one is air. So obviously air is required to create power in an engine and in a car, okay? So if there is a lack in the flow of air, whether it's in or out, then the engine is gonna have trouble creating as much power as it would regularly create. One of the reasons that an engine would be lacking airflow coming in would be a clogged air filter or a clogged portion of the air intake tube, okay? Anything inside of the air intake tube, any buildup of anything inside of the air intake filter or the air intake tube would cause a lack of airflow coming in. And with that being said, the engine is gonna have to struggle to suck in that air, which is going to take away from the power that it can produce. With regards to the air going out, the air exits through the exhaust pipe, there are many components components of your exhaust system that can easily get clogged up or have buildups inside of it that can actually prevent the air from flowing out smoothly. If the engine is struggling to push that air out smoothly, if there's a lack of airflow out, then what's going to happen is the engine, because it's struggling, won't be able to produce as much power as it regularly would. So whether it is the air coming in or the air being pushed out, if there is a lack of airflow in any way, shape, or form, it will cause the engine to lose power. And that's one of the main reasons, that's a very common reason why engines lose power. The second reason why engines lose power is fuel. So we've gone over air, Next up is fuel. Now obviously fuel is required uh, for an engine to actually create horsepower and create torque, okay? For an engine to actually create power and have power. Now if there's a lack of fuel getting into these cylinders, then what's gonna happen is the engine's gonna lose some power. So how can this happen? Well, we have things in our cars called fuel injectors. Sometimes those fuel injectors can either be clogged or cannot work as efficiently as they are meant to work. And that causes a lack of fuel to get into the cylinder heads which in return causes a lack of power. You also have something in your car called a fuel pump. Now, your fuel pump may be failing, but maybe it hasn't completely failed. Meaning it may not be working at 100% efficiency, but maybe it's still working enough to let the car run. But even if it's working at a lower efficiency than 100%, it's gonna cause a lack of fuel to enter the cylinder heads, and it's going to cause a loss of power. So the second reason why engines lose power is fuel. Number one was air, number two is fuel. Number three is also a very common reason why engines lose power and that's compression. Now engines need to compress things in order to create combustion which will turn in essence into power, horsepower and torque. So what happens is if an engine loses compression then it's not going to be able to create as much power because the power is based on compression at least uh, somewhat. So with that being said, inside of your engine there's a lot of metal pieces and those metal pieces wear down over time. As those metal pieces wear down, your engine loses compression and when your engine loses compression, it loses power. So that's basically it. Those are the three reasons, three of the reasons why engines lose power over time, why engines and cars don't produce as much horsepower, torque, or throttle response as they get older, okay? Now there are several things that you can do to combat these things and have your engine still remain uh, producing the same amount of power over time, but most car owners don't do these things regularly and their cars and engines lose power over time because they lack the airflow, they lack the adequate amount of fuel, and they lack the same compression uh, that the engine used to have when it was brand new. So with that being said, do the appropriate things to ensure that these things don't affect your engine and your engine won't lose power. These three things won't affect your engine if you take the appropriate measures. But maybe I'll do a future video about what you can do to prevent an engine losing power in the future. But for this video, this video is over now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. And that's all I think. And that's all I have for you today. 
Thanks for watching.